Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to add animators to Revit doors in order to work in Twinmotion. Let's get started. There are some steps to do before exporting your model from Revit to Twinmotion if you're planning to add animators to your Revit doors. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a wall. And then I'm going to create a floor. Next, I'm going to go to my desktop. I have my door here that is made through door family from Revit. I'm going to double click it just to show you that it comes with door and the frame. So I'm going to close this and then go back to my desktop. I'm going to uh, copy this. I'm going to name one of them as door only. And the other one is door frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load the door frame first into my project sorry the door frame is right here I'm gonna add it in front and then I'm gonna check it out on my 3d I'm gonna double click that to edit the family so now I'm going to delete the door. And then the knobs. And then I'm going to load it back. And then save the, some the changes. And then overwrite it. So now it only comes with the door frame and the door jam. Next, I'm going to double click on the door only. So this is the, the other file that we copied. And here, I'm going to open a new family. I'll make this one metric generic model. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything except for the door and the doorknobs. So now that I deleted the frame, I'm going to copy everything. And then I'm going to go to the generic model that I created, the new family, and then I'm going to paste it. So once you paste it, it will show you this, this message. Just press OK and place it somewhere in the middle. Hit Escape and then press OK. So now the reason that I have to put it or to copy it from the door family template is because if you see here, there will be an opening for the door, which is normal for the door family template. And I want to delete that and you won't be able to delete that unless you create 
a, a new family so for us it's a generic model and then now we just need to load it on our project so once you load it you just need to place it on the door frame so now we are ready to go to twin motion so we're here in twin motion and we still have to do a couple of steps so first open up this tab and then click on the door so once you click the door it will highlight its location so now that we know that this is called family 2 here we can now right click and select copy and then right click again and paste here select copy and press ok it will create another layer so now we have the original family 2 we're gonna unhide that and this is the copy that came from twin motion when we copied family 2 so now I will unhide it so if you didn't if you didn't do that if we didn't copy this what will happen is you won't be able to link this door so let me show you what I mean so this is the original family 2 the other one is the copy that we did I'm gonna go here and and go to tools and then we have the new animators let's go rotation or rotate and then we're gonna place a rotator right here so I'll roughly put it somewhere here so now if we object link it you will not be able to select so now let's hide this and unhide the copy that we did click on the link and then you're gonna able to link that now that it's working you can change it from ping pong once or loop so doors usually is once you can select the angle and then of course you're gonna turn on the trigger and the speed you can change the speed of how it opens so you roughly around 0.3 is good enough and then under animation you can set the delay and then under trigger you can choose the trigger type so for me I'm just gonna set everything so it could trigger a camera pedestrian vehicle bicycle custom path actors and then here you can se select or you can choose the diameter of the trigger zone So if you think this process will be time consuming 
what you can also do is you can select the door or the frame as well hide it hide the door as well and then from here go to objects and then twin motion has already preset doors that you can drag and drop and here you just need to fix the width and then the height of the doors and then it already has the animator in it thank you for watching and hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below